Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew, and you probably noticed that I'm making two videos in the same day. <laughs> but, um, I've been really, or I've been told by my angels, uh, and, you know, getting guidance to make a video like this, um, for a few days now, and I really feel like it's time for me to do that. Um, I feel like the time is now, I feel like there's, that there is a lot that needs to be said about this certain topic, and it is kind of terror related, kind of spiritual, but it's more broad than that, and it's something that I am truly learning so much about right now that it's blowing my mind. So, and it is, the whole topic is living authentically. So, what this means is living in your true self, being your true self, you know, <laughs> um, I, um, I'm going to try and keep this as vague as possible because I don't want to, um, give any, any details or names or anything, even though you people, you wouldn't know these people anyway, but someone very close to me, um, wrote me a letter not too long ago, um, and basically talking about how they're concerned for my spiritual health, um, basically wind had gotten back to them of um my reading altar that i have my cards on and that i have my um, statue of isis on and then as far as being gay that it's bad that you're not born that way that it's a choice which i mean i, I would assume y'all know is is bullshit <laughs> but we're moving on um so Basically, what I was, I was really worried about, um, about posting a status that I posted on my personal Facebook page. Um, side note, um, I don't add a lot of people to my personal Facebook page from my card reading, my Andrew's Angel card reading page. Um, and that's just simply because... Uh, keeping those two things separate. So if I've ever, if you've done, if you um, have sent me a friend request and I haven't responded, that's why it's not because I don't love you because I do. <laughs> but um, so I posted a really long status on Facebook and um, because I had been hiding my status from a few people, um, namely the people that um, told other people about stuff. <laughs> I'm being so vague, but I guess you guys understand what I'm saying. Um. And I posted a, a really long status, and I was just like, you know, it's time for me to start living authentically. You know, it's time for me to start being myself. It's time for me to stop giving a shit about what people think about me. Because honestly, I, what what am I going to get for, and I'm not saying don't care, I don't care what anyone thinks about me, like, like that kind of stuff. I'm saying that there is... Uh, a lot of uh, times where I won't say something or I won't do something because of what somebody else might think. And I know there's a lot of times that we're all like that, especially the spiritual people um, who don't necessarily conform to a certain religion, um, namely Christianity in this case. Um, if you've came from the church, you know how damaging um, it can be, no matter if you're gay or straight or whatever. The dogma is really, really strong. Um, it's really, really, um, heavy, and it sticks with you for a while. So, I posted a really long status about how, what I believe, and the, the kind of the tenets of what I believe. I included ten things, like my little ten, my, my ten commandments, I guess. Um, but, uh, I, I really broke it down for people, and I was like, you know, this is who I am. You know, I, I don't live my life for the approval of other people. You know, I, I don't wake up every morning and say, how can I please people today? How can I censor myself today so I won't offend anybody? Because that's not what we're meant to do. You know, we're meant to live our lives and in living our lives and in following our dreams and in living authentically, we can totally and completely help even if it's just one other person, but we can help multitudes of people by living authentically. And so I had a, I had an incident today, 
and I don't want to say incident because it makes it sound bad, but I had a customer at work. We got to talking about um, computers, and she has a MacBook. I have a MacBook, and um, I was like, "All I use mine for is Facebook and my YouTube videos." She goes, "Oh, what do you what do you blog about?" And I was like, "Well, I'm a I'm a professional tarot card reader." She goes, "Get out! That's so cool!" And I was like, "Am I in the Bible Belt still?" But you know, I just said it. I was like, "I don't care." And she was super open. She was super cool. She was like, I love New Orleans. She goes, I love all of it. Like, I had a tarot card reading in New Orleans when I went. And I love it. It's awesome. And I was like, that's so cool that people, that I had that reaction. Because I wasn't scared. And I wasn't ashamed of who I am. You know, I am a tarot card reader. I don't have huge earrings. I don't wear scarves. I don't have a crystal ball. I want one. I don't have one, though. But, um, and I, 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 I don't look, I guess I don't look like a stereotypical tarot card reader, I guess, to some people. But, you know, in that very moment, I felt so good because I was living authentically. And so you may be sitting there, and I know a lot of you, if you're watching this, you're probably wanting to live authentically. You're probably wanting to be yourself. You just don't really know how. So here is kind of how. The first way is to love yourself, and I'm still working on this, but I know this is like the hugest aspect of living authentically is being in love with every fiber of yourself, not hating yourself for anything, not hating yourself for how you look, not hating yourself for your hair color, not hating yourself for your eye color, not hating yourself for your height, your weight, if you have glasses, or whatever. Not Don't hate yourself. Don't dislike anything about yourself. You can you can love yourself while acknowledging that some things need improvement. Like if you're wanting to lose weight, you can love yourself and lose weight because you love yourself, not because you hate yourself. Does that make sense? Don't do it out of hate for yourself. Do it out of love for yourself. And you're going to get a lot further and your motivation is going to be higher. The second thing is... You know, when don't be ashamed when people ask you your belief system or when you're talking to someone and they have a different belief system and you're scared to bring yours up. Don't be scared. Don't start a debate. Don't go crazy. But Because um, that never gets anybody anywhere. But don't be afraid to say what you believe, say your piece, and move on. You know, it's, it's such a, a relief, even if someone doesn't agree with you, to get it out there. You know, to get it out there. And, and if you're talking about it, just say, this is what I believe. You know, or if someone asks you, you know, don't just volunteer it. You know, be very discretion, discretionatory. Use discretion. Um, when you do this, because certain people, depending on where you live, may not like you very much and may try to hurt you. So don't, you know, don't go crazy. But, um, it's so important to live authentically and to love yourself and to to not be ashamed of yourself, you know, and especially, you know, I know I'm going to focus a little bit on my fellow gay folks here. Um, <laughs> don't hate yourself. You know, no matter what the church has told you, no matter what some pastor has told you that knows nothing about your life, no matter what anybody tells you, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are powerful. You are strong. Don't let anybody tell you any different. That goes for all everybody. But I'm, I was speaking, you know, I'm speaking to the gays, to like the, the youth. Like don't don't um don't ever think that you're not worth anything because you are. And no matter what you're being bullied about, you're you're worth way more than that. And to adults, even adults can be bullied. You're worth more than that. You know, don't be afraid to step into your power because here's what's going to happen. When you step into your power and that power being that power of love and acceptance and for other people and that especially the love that you have for yourself, you're going to step into a place of not giving a shit if someone does not like you. You're going to be able to look at them and say, I recognize that you are hurting and I forgive you for how you're treating me. And I forgive you for what you're saying about me. 
and then you walk away. You don't have to tell them that, but you can say it in your mind. You can say, I forgive you. You know, I forgive you for hurting me. And that's what's going to help us live authentically. They've placed such a huge emphasis on this lately, and I feel like there's so much coming up. September 23rd, someone brought it to my attention on my Facebook page. Um, there is a huge event coming. It's the final blood moon, and there is awakening that is happening. There is a shift that's taking place within the spiritual community within, and people are going to be just going rampant and going crazy. Um, and not crazy in a bad way, but, you know, people are going to be waking up, and it's going to be a process. But things are going to start happening. And we're going to notice this this shift happening. The 23rd through the 28th is the dates that I um, I actually... People don't. People need to stop trying to call me. Um, but September twenty third to twenty eighth, you can research it if you want. Um, it's super cool, and there's a lot of really cool things happening. So I really want to encourage you all to, you know, wake up every morning and say your affirmations. Oh my God! Stop. Um, wake up every morning and say your affirmations. And say that you love yourself and say that you are proud of yourself. Praise yourself. And realize that in doing that, you are stepping into your power to live authentically. And to live without regrets. To live out of the closet, whatever closet, the spiritual closet, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender closet, whatever. You can you can do this. You've got this. If you would like a reading with me, you can check out my website below at www.tarotangel444.com. You can follow me on Instagram at tarotangel444. I love you guys so much. Angel blessings to each and every one of you. Bye.